In our practice, we use the Octopus with iSuite on all patients who receive visual fields. iSuite has enabled me to do something that we really haven't been able to do in managing and uh, detecting progression and rate of progression in, in our patients. And that's allowing us to very rapidly analyze the field and doing it extremely quickly rather than going back to the instrument, printing out the field, looking at it, reprinting it, and so forth. Um, I enjoy iSuite because of the, the different statistical analysis that they have. Uh, the, the polar trend analysis, the bridging of structure with function is great. Uh, the cluster analysis is great. I needed something to uh, increase and improve our efficiency, um, quality of care with our visual field testing with our patients. It is an instrument that's highly reliable. It, it's, it, it's efficient. We can run a lot of patients through in a relatively short period of time compared to other devices. Uh, we need uh, a test and a procedure that is easy to set up, fast, uh, and performs well and delivers accurate data. Uh, and iSuite and the Octopus 900 deliver that for me. The test is immediately transmitted over to the iSuite program and then the iSuite data is available to all doctors at all workstations throughout the practice. The cluster trend looks very carefully at different nerve fiber bundles, the important nerve fiber bundles, and clusters the points there. It eliminates some of the fluctuation of individual points and brings a whole group of points together therefore eliminating or reducing the, uh, the variability. Octopus kind of thought out of the box and created the glaucoma program and what they concentrate on is testing more points in the central 12 degrees. I think that's extremely valuable in early glaucoma. I enjoy the top strategies. I've used it on a number of patients. I find that there are many patients that cannot do Humphrey visual fields and then I put them in front of the octopus. The time is less. And finally the um the polar trend analysis starts to bridge this gap uh, that we have of looking at function and looking at structure. So it's bringing our visual field changes back to the optic nerve and enable us to look at the visual field projecting off of the optic nerve.